Every FD account includes a domain name marketplace, making it easy for your customers to view and purchase your domains. You never have to worry about updating the software, worrying about security holes, SSL certificates, or your code breaking. We take care of it all for you. Let me show you how to set up your new marketplace. First, you got to click the settings marketplace tab in the left hand menu item. Now, the first thing we want to do is set the marketplace URL. This is one of your own domain names and the domain on which we will host your marketplace site. I own summerdomains.com and we'll use that one. So I click the set marketplace URL link and I see the following instructions. Log in to the registrar where your domain is hosted. Make sure you are using your registrar's default name servers. Point the A record of your custom domain to 159.8.40.1. Enter your custom domain below in the www.domain.com format. Or if you're using a subdomain for your marketplace, enter your domain in the sub.domain.com format. Hit save afterwards and you're good to go. So the point, the A record of your custom domain to 159. 0 0.8.40.55 is the most important one. So I'll head over to GoDaddy where my summerdomains.com domain name is registered. I click on Domain Manager. And I'll go find the domain name. Click on it. So I can edit it and then scroll down to manage the DNS. Now this process will vary from registrar to registrar. So please, you know, contact your registrar if you're having difficulties doing the same thing as I do in this video, or actually scroll down to the end of this tutorial to see a screenshot of the A record settings you need at some of the most popular registrars such as Namecheap, Uniregistry and Dynadot. Now the first thing you want to do is check if the name servers are set to your registrar default name servers. We want to use their name servers. Now here I see domaincontrol.com which is GoDaddy's default name server. So we're all good here, no need to change anything. Now let's go back to the DNS settings so we can point an A record to 159.8.40.55. Now it may be that there's already a bunch of A records or C names uh, set on your DNS and often these are being used by a registrar to redirect visitors to a parking page. Now make sure you delete these existing uh, A records or C names from your DNS uh, first. Now what we do to add the A records at GoDaddy, I click on add, I select A records and for the host, we set the um, add symbol, which points to 159.8.40. 0.55. Now set the TTL to one half hour. This is the time, estimated time it takes for the DNS to propagate. We want to, to do this as quickly as possible. Now click save. Next, we'll want to add a second A record that points to 159. 0 0.8, 0 0.40, 0 0.55, but 
with www w as the host. Set the TTL to one half hour. Click save. Now, as you can see, we've set two A records, one with the host uh, with the add symbol and another one with the www symbol. Make sure, depending on which registrar you use, you save all these settings. Okay, so let's head back to FT and set your marketplace URL. Make sure you set it in the www.yourdomain.extension format. So for me, that's www.summerdomains.com and hit save. If your DNS is set up correctly with the A record, you will now see the marketplace URL has been saved in your account. So the next step, depending on which FT subscription you've chosen, is to enable SSL. SSL is included free of charge for the growth plan, the professional plan, and of course our enterprise plan. Simply click on Enable SSL and we get to work on the back end to issue a certificate for your marketplace domain, meaning anyone who will visit it uh, will see that the site is safe and secure. If everything works as it should, the page should refresh and it should show here SSL is enabled. Now let's have a quick look at summerdomains.com and see if the marketplace already resolves. It does, and I can here also see that SSL is enabled and the connection is secure. Now the next step is customization. There's quite a lot of things you can do to really make your marketplace unique. You can upload a logo, you can change the background, and of course, you can uh, customize the header text, the intro text, and even write your own custom meta description for search engines. You can add your Google Analytics tracking code so you can have detailed access to visitor stats. You can choose to show your contact details or even add an alternative email address if you wish to show a different email address on your marketplace than the one you're using for your FT account. You can choose the domain order and of course you can pick a theme. Now we have a bunch of different themes that you can choose from. All of them are unique and have a different look and feel. Have a look and see which one works best for, for your portfolio. We have another tutorial about customization of the marketplace that you can find in our knowledge base. For now, if you have any issues with getting your marketplace to resolve, or enabling the SSL, please send us an email to ask at ft.com and we'll be happy to help you get set up.